Hello fellow tankers, it's Mobius Y here once again with the third episode of Heavy Duty! My little six episode series showcasing my grind for the American T110E 5 tier 10 heavy tank. So, here in episode 3, I am getting rid of this M6 tier 6 heavy tank and buying the tier 7 T29. So first I'm going to demount the equipment, get some silver back, sell all that off. Now I'm just going to sell the tank here. Or what am I doing? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sell the tank. Ah, having a brain fart. Alright, now I'm going to go into the check tree here. Select the T29. It's down there right after the M6. There we go. Tier 7 T29. Let's buy this bad boy. 1,450,000 silver. And I've got my crew to throw in, Evan Pike. Unfortunately, he'll be untrained starting off. I didn't get the chance to overtrain him, but that's alright. I'll just deal with it. We'll train him on regimental school, get the 75% training bonus. And here it is, the Tier 7 T29 American Heavy Tank. A very popular tank amongst the, amongst the community and the player population. The T29 is actually the second most played tank of all time last time Wargaming gave us those statistics. Tank purchased, T29. Alright, so, now that I have the T29, I need to do the usual. I need to check the packages, put on the equipment, give it camouflage, so on and so forth. So, don't know a heck of a lot about the T29 from playing experience, as I haven't touched it before, I do, but as with the other American heavy tanks, it has very strong frontal turret armor, and with the upgraded turret it gets even better, and you also get bigger guns, so as always I'm going to be utilizing hull down, so I'm just going to camel this up. Just going to do seven days for now. I plan to knock this out of the park pretty quickly. There's the usual urban camo. In case you haven't noticed, I pretty much always choose the same camo schemes for whatever tank in whatever nation. I don't need any inscriptions or emblems. What am I doing? Okay, I need to stop getting distracted. Okay, so uh, be before I throw some equipment on here, I'm going to go check out the packages for the T29. Because if I remember right, one of them is free for me right now due to researching these this 90mm M3 gun from the M6. So, that first package right up here is free, so I'll use that to start. And then the turret upgrade with the better engine is 34,200 XP for the same gun with the upgraded turret. Now the final package I'm going to use, the 105mm, I'm not going to use this 76mm gun with the final engine upgrades. I'm going to stick with this 90mm here, the T29E3. I'm going to skip past the 76mm gun with the final engine. And I'm just going to jump right to this 105mm gun. Because I don't want to use the stock 76mm gun even with the fully upgraded turret and engine. That's just dumb. <laughs> I don't want to use this at all. So I'm going to stick with the 90mm guns until I can use the 105mm. Plus, I want to research everything because the 105mm gun is the same 105 used on the T32. So that will make these packages cheaper as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and research this top one for 0 XP. Like I said, it was free for having it pre-researched on the M6, or a lot of the medium tanks use it as well. So, there we go. Much bigger gun now. Definitely a much more threatening gun on the T29, as opposed to the 76mm. So I'm just going to... What am I doing here? There we go. Okay, I needed to look at the stats there. Same stats as the other 90mm M3 gun, so... They're pretty much the exact same gun. Now the final 105 mil, much more inaccurate, slower rate of fire, but much more damage in pen. So I want to make sure I get that fully researched there. Okay, now I'm jumping into the supplies here. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> I think I'm on a sugar high. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm just going to put a little bit of APCR on. Purchase those. Now I'm going to put some consumables on. Usual small repairs, small first aid. And I'm going to go with an automatic fire extinguisher to help reduce my chances of catching fire passively. Now for my equipment, I'm going to stick with the gun rammer, obviously. 
And I'm going to make use of the good view range of this tank again with coated optics. And I'm going to throw on a toolbox, seeing as how I don't have the crew fully trained, so I want to repair my tracks as quickly as possible. So I'm ready to go. I'm just going to invite some platoon members and play a few games of the T29 and start grinding for this first package here with the turret upgrade. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in the garage here. I was able to get Miser and Roni to jump in with me, willing to play some Tier 7. I'm ready to rock first couple games in the T29. It's basically stock aside from the gun. I've got the stock engine, the stock turret, stock treads, so on and so forth. So I'm hoping that I can... I'm hoping I can cope with that and just make use of this 90 mil gun because it's not a, it's not a bad gun for a Tier 7 tank. I was able to put it to really good use on the M6 in the previous tier, and I saw Tier 8s with that tank, and I didn't have any problems. Miser finally decided to ready up, so we're good to go now. I'll jump into the jump into the match queue and wait for a game here. Looks like it gave us a game already. That was fast. And we are on El Hulu playing a standard battle. So I think partially depending on which tier I am will simply determine whether I'm going to play front line or rear line support, but either way, I'm going to go up into that corner in the top left towards Bravo 2 sector there, and I'm going to fight it out in that major uh, clusterfuck that always tends to happen on this map now, which is really nice. And it's, it's a tier 8 game. They have an M4043 artillery, so I'll have to be mindful of that. Hopefully I'm not too exposed to it, or he just doesn't shoot at me. So we've got Roni in the Chi Re and Miser in the SU-122-44 Premium Russian Tier 7 Tank Destroyer. So I'm going to follow this KV-4 over to the fighting corner. And uh, we'll just see what I can do. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Roni wants to give me a push. Oh my god, I'm flying! I'm oh, 36, 37, 38! Oh my god! <laughs> Good times. Oh, there goes the Chaffee, trying to get ahead to spot for us, or something, I don't know, I don't really know. Looks like a Hellcat with us as well. We have a few people going down in the middle, which is good, we don't want them to gain control of that side of the map too easily. Alright, just going to follow this KV-4. Oh, I'm pushing this Chaffee, my bad. <laughs> he backed off after that, that's fine. Oh, sorry, that's a Jackson, not a Hellcat. I'm on crack. You know, I see way more Hellcats than Jacksons, so I sometimes get a little bit confused. I am just a dumb white kid, after all. Okay, we got an A44, AMX 5100. Ooh, that's a problem. Let's put a shot into him. He needs to be the first to go. Alright, I I'm, I'm, should be okay right here. I'm pretty hull down. Let's put another shot into his... Oh, I hit him right in the gun mantlet. That was awful. <laughs> Good job. I just bounced on a paper-thin French tank's turret. Oh, we got an A44 behind us, and he is wrecking us. I really can't turn to deal with him. I'm just a little bit too slow, so I'm going to hope that uh, Roni and Miser can deal with him. Oh, we got a VK-30 Proto. I put a shot right into his turret face. That one missed. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Looks like Miser and Roni are, might be having a bit of trouble. This could be a sticky situation. Bounced a good one. Let's put another shot into this guy, right into, uh, right into his nice little angle plate there. I'm trying to aim for his turret face, or if it goes high, I'll hit him in the cupola and uh, I'll damage him either way. But it's not working out so well so far. And we got an ISU-152. Looks like he has the BL-10, so I'm just going to put a shot into him and try and weaken him. These guys on the right are a serious problem. And we can't... I don't know what this Cape 4 is doing. He's not letting me move. Need to put shots in this mutant because he's a major threat right now. There we go. 255. That's a bit of a high roll. I'll get some bonus XP just for hitting a tier 8. Let's see if I can put another shot into him. There we go. Knocked out a tier 8, so that'll be a bit bonus XP. Let's put a shot into this ISU. He needs to go. That 122 mil he's using is pretty dangerous, so I need to make sure he gets knocked out. I am just taking shots. I am no longer hold down, and it's not safe. I'm gone. 5100 clipped me out. Uh, well, I don't think this is going to go too well. It looks like we're losing pretty badly here, outflanked. 
And yes, we lost. <laughs> of course. As I predicted. Still got 1,121 experience. Only did 1,053 damage, though. Suffered 1,150 to be destroyed. But I somehow did assisted 1,460 damage. A couple guys on the other team did really good. The 5,100, the Tiger 2, and the A44 did quite a significant amount of damage. Alright, let's just move on to the next game. I'm going to keep grinding out with this package. Okay, back in the garage. Uh, it's the next day. I just took a break. So I'm with Lele and Joe the Frogman. They agreed to play some Tier 7 with me. I'm partway down to the next package here. I've got about 13,000 XP. So I'm just going to play some games with my buddy Speedy and Joe. And we've got a standard battle on Abby. I'm going to see what I can do here. I'm going to head down to the 1-2 line on the west side of the map there. It's some pretty good, decently hilly terrain that I can use to go hull down and hide my hull armor and just peek my turret out. But there's also a couple corners that I can side scrape off of. Let's see which side we spawn on. Okay, we're on the north side, so I need to turn to the right and head that way. It's a tier 7 game. Uh, they do have two M12 artillery. Those could be a problem. Got a top tier T-43 and Panther in a platoon as well. So I'm going to head to the right. I think Speedy and Joe will be able to follow me. Joe should be able to use the Comet really well on this side of the map as, as well. This thing, uh, so far, I've only got 13,000 XP, so a little, a little over 10 games, I believe. I'm 10 or 11 games in so far. Um, I, I'm finding that even this 90 mil against tier 9s, uh, if I'm okay, if I'm not afraid to shoot a little APCR, I don't really have a problem. And the turret is more than good enough to protect my health pool, so long as they're not trying to hit my little commander satchel at the top. Ooh, an M7. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. I need to keep moving. It just takes me too long to get back up to this speed. I'm barely going 30 with this stock engine. So I'm just going to... Joe's getting way up there. Me and Speedy need to hustle up and back him up as quickly as possible. <laughs> now this thing is quite sluggish. <laughs> with with the stock treads and the stock engine, I'm just... I'm always just trundling along. Offensively and defensively, I am A-OK. -okay. The gun's, tol the gun's tolerable enough. The turret is effective. Even the stock turret, very thick frontal gun mantlet. I'm just really slow, and it's starting to drive me nuts. Now, we need to deal with these guys in the middle there. we got a lot of guys over there, and they're just... You get rid of these guys in the A4 sector that I pinged there. Joe needs me on the low side here, so... I'm just going to pull up. Pull forward here. Looks like the two TDs aren't right in front of them, so I'm gonna, i got to pull up there. Best if I back them up by staying on the low side here. Catch them when they try to retreat, if they try to retreat. Or I'll just spot any of their support units. Drive up down here. I haven't been spotted yet, surprisingly. Maybe there's nobody down here, or maybe it's just something with a really crappy view range, but really good camo. No, it looks like I'm A-OK. -okay. I'm going to keep heading down here. The lay's already half dead. i got to get over there as fast as I can. Look at this fury is going to come down right in front of me. Yep, he's trying to flank him. Big surprise. There you go, 215 right in your front plate. That felt good, I'm sure. All right, good bouncing shot there. One more in your side. Now you're a one shot. I don't know. I'm not sure if he knows where to shoot me. And one more, you're gone. Excellent. Fury is gone. Looks like what didn't get destroyed already backed off. T25-2 is knocked out, or at least one of them is, so we're just going to keep pushing, or try to anyways. I don't know, the middle and the water road look pretty poor right now, the middle in particular. I'm going to pull up top here, get some shots in the middle, try and damage these tanks that are hanging out in the middle still. I got easy shots in this T29, right into the top. Now those are some easy shots, if that T29 stays there, oh, never mind. The top is very vulnerable. I know. I would know because this thing gets destroyed by artillery so easily. All right. So he's he's angling way too sharply. Easy shots into his side. Okay. Unless I guess the shot goes high and hits him right in the turret. <laughs> oh, he's fully upgraded, so I got to be careful. Again in the turret. That was a poor shot. So I'm just going to give up on that. 
M12 artillery got him. I thought, uh, I thought Speedy would take him out. Oh, Soup sent me a message. I better check that later. Alright, we got an A40, sorry, A43. We got a T43 completely uncontested in the middle, so I'm gonna head back to base here. See if I can defend our artillery to a certain degree. Let's see if we can knock this guy out before he does too much damage here. So, both teams, I mean, the game's pretty even, but, uh, you know, we've got more, uh, I think we have more HP left over still. Why isn't this Comet defending the artillery? Like, he hasn't moved. Oh, friendly just knocked him, knocked out another enemy tank, looks like one of the last TDs. So they just got a heavy, this T-43, and another TD, plus the artillery. Okay, this T-43 is wrecking artillery, and the Comet isn't doing anything to stop him. It's not like he hasn't loaded in. I think I think he's going to destroy them. Yeah, I think he, I think the T forty three is going to get him before I can get there. Well, I know this won't be a two on one since the comet is AFKing. Good to know. I got to hustle over here. I don't think I'm going to be able to save the second artillery either. I'm just too slow. <laughs> Again, I'm barely hitting 30. Yeah, he just got the other one. Alright, I gotta deal with this guy. I, got, I gotta trust that Speedy and Joe can get the get the artillery as well as that other heavy and the TD. I got My job is to get this guy right now. Okay. Wait for him to get closer. Now that he sees me. Alright, let's put a shot into his side. There we go. Oh, nice bounce! <laughs> that was excellent. Okay, he's actually being smart on hiding behind the comet. That comet is stock, I just realized. Yeah, he's being smart and hiding behind the comet, using the comet as cover while he puts more shots into him. So I'm just going to get close, get around that comet, get some shots into this guy, before he can, hopefully before he can take out the comet. Oh, here he comes. Okay, nice tracking shot. Oh, now the comet started moving. Perfect. Maybe he'll help me out. He got one shot into him. Okay. Put another shot into you. Oh, that one. Okay. Interesting how that one went. That went way wide, but whatever. Better fix my track and get my driver going again. I need to keep up with this guy. With the dead driver, I can't turn fast enough. I got this guy. There we go. Awesome. Well, you put one shot into him, buddy. <laughs> whatever. It's all good. I can't complain. Alright, they just got one artillery left. I highly doubt I'll get there in time, but there's nothing wrong with trying. <laughs> so either Joe or, or Speedy will find him pretty shortly. He's probably hiding on that in that little dip where artillery can hide on the very south end of the map, right behind the spawn. But we'll find out shorty, shortly. Sorry. And this friendly stock comm is coming in to get a piece of him. Oh, yeah, they, oh, they found him. Maybe I can... Maybe I can get over there and put another shot's worth of damage into a, into an enemy here before the game ends. Just going to stay on this flat ground here, maintain my speed as best as possible. Looks like uh, Speedy and Joe, they're just trying to decide what to do here. They're probably stacking up, they're probably stacking up because that M12 is just ready to shotgun one of them, so I imagine they're stacking up so that the first person takes the hit and... Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Joe just got shotgunned. Poor guy. Now Speedy should be able to pull over. Yep, looks like he's crawling up there. And he's got him. Nice job. Alright, not bad. Great job, man. It kind of helped that I was top tier again this game. I was able to put some hurt on. But let's see just exactly how much damage I did. 3 times multiplier, 4,383 XP. Not bad at all. I also got a sniper medal. For 1,457 total damage dealt, and I was and I received only about half of that. <laughs> and now that is a nice game in the T43 over there. 4,335 damage, good game. Let's move on to the next one and just keep on grinding. Okay, back in the garage. My crew is fully trained on the tank now, and I have enough XP to get the first package with the upgraded turret, the enhanced treads, and the enhanced engine as well. 34,200 XP and 96,000 silver. Now, this will still give me the 90 mil gun, but I'll have a stronger turret 
better engine and better tracks, so my mobility will improve a little bit too. And as always, whenever a package gets changed, I gotta change the ammunition. <laughs> I don't need that much HE. I'll stick with just 5 APCR. 5 HE, 5 APCR, and the rest regular ammo. I think I'm gonna stick with my equipment here. I was gonna take this toolbox off. I don't know, I don't know. I kinda like having it on though. Because when I'm side scraping, my tracks get blown off really quickly, so I kind of like having them repaired quickly enough. But I might want to change that to a vertical stabilizer. I don't know. I don't know yet. So far, I'm liking it the way it is. So I've got Player TD, Joe to Frogman, El Matador 43, and United Combat. We got Maddie and a Tiger, Combat and a Tiger, Joe and a Comet, and Player in a T25 2. We're going to play a five man seven, tier 7 platoon. See how well we do. Hopefully we can uh, get another win here and net some decent XP this game. Pacific Island Assault. I have been having really good games with every tank down this line on this map so far. I'm going to go to the south side of the map, head towards that little pass there it, that uh, goes diagonally from H2 to H3. Or sorry, H2 to G3, my bad. <laughs> and uh, use the dips there to go nice and haul down, just peek out with my really strong turret and dump some damage on the enemy here. Like I said, I've had really good games just going there and setting up shop and teeing off at anybody who's silly enough to just pull out in front of me and try and pop a shot off. Alright, looks like we're on defense. Not sure, uh, not sure what the rest of the team's plan is, but I don't know what mine is. And we are top tier again. That's cool, I suppose. Not too bad. Nope. Oh, that was an accident. Sorry. <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing there. Okay, well, it looks like we got a lot going to the south, so I'm just going to try going to the north side here with my platoon mates. We already had several people going to the south side there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change things up. Got my buddy in the tiger pushing me up here, too. Awesome. Yeah, we got a lot going to the south there. They didn't need me. Alright. It's like Joe and Player are set up. They've got some nice overwatch. They'll probably see what's coming. And the enemy's spotted already. Let's see if anybody's coming this way. Maybe I can get some early damage in before they get too close. We got a medium tank way over in the back there. What's that? Easy 8. Let's see if I can get a shot on him. Nope. <laughs> I knew that was going to miss as soon as I pulled the trigger. There's a Jackson over there. Looks like he's behind an obstacle. I like how we're just set up here. Just a nice little firing line. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All four of us. All right. Jackson, is he going to peek out? I don't think so. Hmm, looks like the other side... Might be encountering some trouble. We're going to start heading that way. There's not much going on here. They're not pushing this other side, so... The rest of them are probably on this south end or pushing up through the middle, so I'm going to head over that way. Well, let's see. What are my options here? What are my options here? I can, I can stay put and hope something happens. Or I can head to the south there. It'll take me a while to get there, but we'll see. I'm going to stick around here for a little bit. I'm just going to push forward. There's not much going on, so I'm going to press the attack. South side is falling. I definitely, yeah, I think I should have gone that way. We're going to lose. We're going to lose that whole flank. But I'm just, I'll just push forward here, get some damage in, knock out the few stragglers on this side of the map. I should have gone to the south at the start. I thought that... I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that they'd be able to handle it. There was quite a lot of them going, going to the south. But at least a third of our team. About half of our team. I mean, five of them are dead and there's still two down there. So a good half of our team went over there and they just couldn't hold it. They took it a few, but not much. Alright, there's nothing else going on over here. That medium on my left is not spotting anything. So I'm just going to cut straight across and stick my nose in the fight and make some people very unhappy with me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, this thing is just so slow, even with the upgraded engine. Definitely accelerating better and maintaining better speed a lot more easily. I'm usually going 20 kilometers an hour for the most part, but uh, it's just so sluggish. T-150 on my left there. Got a 25-2 right in front of me. Joe was able to knock somebody out. Good stuff. This 22-5-2 is a one-shot. Maybe I can peek over. Definitely a one-shot now. He's got maybe three, nine hit points. There you go. Alright, we got a Nashorn over there. And the T-150 is still far left. Uh, I don't think I need to worry about those two. I need to spearhead it right into this enemy advance here. United Combat's turning around. Try and get some shots on them from the top of the mountain there. That T-150 and the Nash are way behind me. We can deal with later. we got to stop this advance. And we got to stop it now. There's probably a good uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 7 or 8 enemy tanks over here in this area. Yep, there's 4. She reads one shot. There's 5. Okay. Let's knock out the weak ones. And finish off the rest. Alright, peeking over. There we go. There's IS again. Put a shot at him. Right in the side of the turret. Wow, lucky shot. And I bounced him. So he's gone. Ooh, I just got set on fire. There goes my extinguisher. Getting shot in the butt. Oh, he's shooting me. Oh, it's just easy eight. Alright. But I put a side shot on that T29, but I need to worry about this guy. He's the bigger threat since he just set me on fire. I don't want him doing it again. Combat was able to clean up over on this side. Joe is moving. Joe and player are moving in to help, so I'm going to take on this guy. There's still somebody on our base. They should be able to handle that. They're a lot faster than me. I'm going to stop their reinforcements from getting in here. This Easy Eight and whatever's behind them. Nice shot. There we go. He's gone. Combat snipes him for the win. Good stuff. All right, they're still on our base. Let's see if I can turn around and help deal with them. Uh, maybe not. Yep. No, they're surrounding them. They should have them handled. I'll start heading that way just in case. I don't think I'll even get anywhere near them before they clean up. Excuse me. I'm getting the hiccups. Another friendly got knocked out way in the south there. Yep, I didn't think so. <laughs> Other national just got ammo racked. Okay, let's turn around. Deal with this T-150 and this other Nashorn way in the south. Heading down that way. We're both in these sectors here. Going to follow this VK-3001 prototype. He's already spotted the Nashorn. Hopefully he doesn't get blasted by him. I don't really see that happening. Alright. VK-30's probably got this Nashorn. Oh, he's down to a one-shot. Auto-lock, aim in. Oh, he got him. I still fired the shot. Hmm. That happens a lot where you pull the trigger, and then it just fires a split second too late. T-150 broadside. Nice job. He's gone. Yep. Easy broadside shots. Not a bad game. We were able to clean up there. We were fairly outnumbered, but managed to pull... Pull that out of our butts. Pull off a win. 1,047 XP. Not great, but not bad either. Only 930 damage, though. I could have done a lot better. Player and United Combat did awesome, so let's just jump into the next game and keep on grinding. Alright, back in the garage. I've got El Matador, Giaka, Joe the Frogman, and Mio ready to play some Platoon with me. So... Moving on to the next package. I had 20,000 XP saved up, so I'm going to research this bottom package here, which gives the final engine. The same engine as on this package with the 105 gun. But I'm just going to research this here, which will make the top package cheaper. There we go. Now the top package is only 18,100 as opposed to, oh, what was it, about 37,000 or something? So this final 105 millimeter gun is only 18,000 more XP. Not a long grind. I'm going to stick with this 90mm gun, though. I'm not going to use that 76mm, so let's just ready up here. Matter in a Tiger tank. 
Now, I've been overtraining the crew since I finished off-road driving, so this should really help when I get the T32. Mio in a Chiri, Joe in the Comet again, and G in a Tiger prototype. Excuse me. Just have to stretch. All right, we've got an assault game on Erlenberg. Now, if I remember right, these flags changed around, and I haven't really played much Erlenberg Assault since they were changed around in the most recent update there. I believe the flag is now in the B4, A4 sector. All right, let's check it out. And there are some tier eights, not a lot though. Two Tiger twos, an IS three, a T sixty nine, an AMX M four forty five heavy tank. Yep, both teams have four tier eight tanks, not bad. And yep, that flag is now in A four A five, and they spawn over in A six. I seem to recall last time I played this. They spawned over in, like, C2 or something like that. I don't really know. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm just going to head straight north, get straight into the fight, knock out some bad guys. Most of my platoon is going in there, too. Joe is just going straight up the middle. He's going to get some initial spots to let us know where they're coming from and what's heading our way. I kind of hope to bump into those Tiger 2s or even the, even the T69, do some damage to some Tier 8s. Oh, I got a message. Not sure how that is. I'll just check it later. Uh, I hope to bump into some of these tier 8s to get some extra XP for damaging higher tier tanks. Got a Comet up in front there, he just got popped by the Chiri a little bit, and it looks like one of their mediums got taken out already. Seems, seems to me he got a little foolish, went straight up the middle. Okay, this Comet is being too ballsy, and he's just getting chewed up for it, so I'm just going to push up. Oh, got a T20 on my right. Let's just stop him. Auto fire. That one missed. Not really too surprised by that. He's trying to back up. Well, I didn't get another shot. There's the T69. Perfect. Tracked him. Let's get some shots on him. Oh man, he just got torn up. <laughs> he is not happy right now. That Comet is one shot. The T69 is maybe a two shot. T20 is only about half dead. Maybe less. Oh, there's one of the Tiger 2s. Perfect. Can you say wish granted? <laughs> I need to keep an eye on these guys. Oh, there's a lot more back here than I thought. A shot on you. That one bounced. That's unfortunate. All right, we got a, we got a big gun battle going on here. That was a horrible miss on the T20. I had to take the shot though, otherwise I wasn't going to have one. AMX. I did not have appropriate shot there. I don't. I didn't have the gun depression. I'm too too high of a slope. Let's see if I can hit this Tiger too. He looks stock. To put one in the front of his turret after I bounce. Yep, there we go. He is stock. <laughs> T14, right through your turret face. Awesome. All right. Looks like the other side's pretty good too. So we just need to do our jobs here and make the push. T20 peeking. Uh, no, that one missed. I'm taking some bad shots this game. Need to get my head in gear and start taking the good ones. All right. There we go. Right into the front of the turret there on that VK. Not bad. T69 poking again. He's one shot. He needs to go. If I get the chance. Oh, I just got nailed. Right into the VK30 again. VK302M. Alright, got this AMX coming over top as well. Let's see if I can put a shot on him. And I bounced. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. At least I hit him. <laughs> I've gotten quite a few bounces already, though. Only the one shot has actually done damage to me. There, bounce again. Peek up and get a shot in this Tiger 2 since that VK is pulling away. That one missed again. <coughs> I rushed that shot. I rushed that shot when I didn't need to. AMX. And he tracked me. That's fine. I'll just repair it. Wait for it to get fixed. T69 trying to shoot me again. How's that going for you? AMX, you are just really starting to annoy me. Okay. Yeah, I need a shot on something here. Just waiting for somebody to peek too far, too suddenly. Now they're closing in. A couple of them are closing in to get closer to the hill. Looks like the IS-3 staying back. The Tiger 2 closed in a lot closer. 
Also got a T29 right in front of us. T69 is still back there. He's really exposed. I got a shot here. Yes! Nice! T69 gone. That was quite a bit of a lucky shot. Alright, got the VK on my left here. A heavy tank. I'm not sure what that heavy is, but this VK needs to go. Oh, I tracked him! Brilliant! Friendly got him, though. Good stuff. Okay, got it. Should have a Tiger and a T29 right in front of me. Oh, never mind, it's the IS-3. Oh, we got a T20 behind us. Let's see if I can get a shot on him. Nope. Matter got him. Matty got him with the Tiger. So I can turn my attention back to the front here. Need to mop this up and uh, see if we can help out with that other flank. Looks, looks like that other flank is holding down pretty harshly. Now our friendly is yellowing in the KV-5, which I guess is okay. T29. There you are. Good shot to the side of your turret. That one missed. Dang it. I waited too long with that shot. That one I should have just aimed and fired. Alright. Just trying to reposition here. Okay, my platoon mates are handling these heavies on my right. This IS-3 is going to get torn off pretty quickly here. Let's see if I can... Oh, I just took a hit. Good shot in this guy. Nope. Uh, that's okay. I was able to take that hit. I had enough HP. I'm going to deal with this AMX and this T-29. Now that all those guys below me are dealt with... Okay, all well, these guys. There's an AT-8 way in the back there. Back up a bit. Reposition here. Here's a much better holdout position. There we go. That shot ate dirt. That's fantastic. I don't know what this T29 is doing. I'm just going to put a shot into his front drive wheel. There we go. He's tracked. Now he's going to get shot to piss and just really hate life. Let's get one more in his track. There we go. Hopefully somebody can peg him again. There we go. Side turret. Boom. And he's gone. Excellent. They're down to two tanks already, the Tiger II on the other side of the map, and the AT-8, and the AT-8 was right here. So let's see if I can push forward, let's just push forward. Oh, all right. well, let's just auto lock it. Oh! <laughs> nice! That was so nice! <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was, that was a pretty sick shot. I, I didn't even aim, I just auto locked and waited a couple seconds for it to aim, and it pulled the trigger. <laughs> nice! Now, if this was just the three of us alive here in the platoon, we would have a brothers in arms. <laughs> Unfortunately, our two mediums got taken out. Joe and, I believe, uh, not Maddie. Who the heck was the other? That doesn't matter. Now, Tiger 2's putting up a fight. I don't think we'll get there in time, though. But we'll try. And Joe and Mio got taken out, unfortunately. But uh, nine kills so far on Star Platoon. That's not bad at all. Let's see if we can r run all the way across the map and get a tenth. <laughs> that's wonderful. Oh, that's the guy that sent me a message at the beginning of the game. Okay. Somebody's shooting high explosive at him, it looks like. Just did 18 damage. Maybe four's going in. Looks like he rammed him. We got two people sitting in the cab. Not too sure why. I think G figures just for insurance, because this Tiger 2 has been putting up a fight, but uh, we'll probably have him jump off in a second here. Yep, he just he just jumped off. Let's see if I, I I might actually get a chance to get a shot on this Tiger 2. Seeing as how I just moved from across the map. And somebody is still shooting high explosive at him. 44 damage. He just, he's just hitting that KB4. Oh, he's on fire now. And right as I get spotted, that's when he gets destroyed. <laughs> but another second and a half, I would have had another damaging shot on somebody. Well, that was a that was an interesting game. Wow, 2,233 XP. Nice, so nice. <laughs> 2,300 assisted damage from all the tracking I did with only 1,129 damage and three tanks knocked out. Not bad. All right, let's move on to the next game and just keep on grinding. <laughs> That's too funny. I didn't even do that much damage, but oh well. Take the next one. All right, back in the garage again. I have enough XP to research the final package on the T-29 with the 105mm gun. I'm still in a platoon of five. I've got G, Joe, Player TD, and Mio here with me, so they're just going to wait while I get the new package. 18,100 XP. 
purchase this. 177,000 silver to buy this. Now let's equip this bad boy. Perfect. And now my T29 is fully upgraded. So obviously I'm going to have to go into the supplies again. Look at that big gun. That thing is huge compared to the last ones. Sorry, before I do that, I should take a look at these. So, engine power, 800 horsepower, much better than the 500 stock. 5.26 rounds a minute, much slower rate of fire. Accuracy, 0.41. That's just kind of kind of bad. 2.29 <laughs> aim time, but 198 penetration with 320 alpha damage. So, I'm going to leave the equipment. I like the toolbox on. I just got to change my supplies a little bit here. I'm going to change to a large repair kit so I can take off. What am I doing here? Well, I can take off the toolbox now that I have a large repair kit on. I'm going to change to the vertical stabilizer to try and help with that aim time, 2.29 aim time on this big gun. I need to try and aim in as quickly as possible since I'll be right, in the, right on the front lines here. Let's just wait for everybody to ready, wait, ready up. we got G and a Tiger Prototype, player and an ELC AMX. Just waiting on Joe and Mio. Mio and the Chiri again. They look, they look right down the barrel there. <laughs> Modeling error. Just waiting on Joe. So again, just going to use basic call down. It's been working really well. Even with the little 90 millimeter gun. This gun should be a lot more tolerable though, I guess. You know, tier, tier 9 so like. Oh, wait a minute. I totally forgot to change out the ammunition. Wow, I'm dumb. Sorry about that, guys. I apologize. All right, I should only need five APCR and five high explosive. That should do me just fine. Sorry about that. I, I just totally donked out there. <laughs> and they picked the same tanks. Again, G, Tiger Prototype, Joe, E25, Player, ELC, and Mio, and a Chiri. All right. Let's see what Matchmaker throws our way. Oh, quite a few eights and nines in the matchmaking lobby right now, or random bad a few, I should say, I, no, no, I should say. Hopefully we get a tier 9 game, I kind of want to try this out against some 9s, fire off a little bit of APCR, get some bonus XP for damaging higher tier tanks. So we got a standard battle on Komarin, now it doesn't really matter which side I spawn on, I'm going to go over by the nine line, and either I'm going to sit, I'm going to stay in C8, C9, use that ridge there, or use the ridge in F8, F9, depending on which side of the map I spawn on, whether it's north or south. I'll be on the north or south side of that ridge. So we'll just see what's going on as soon as I load into the game here. Looks like we are in a tier 8 lobby. Perfect. If I can shoot up a few tier 8s, that should be a good XP haul. That E25 is so cute. It's just a cute little thing. <laughs> Alright. Players moving forward to spot. Let's see what's coming our way. I might get an early shot off on something. Somebody will be a little unhappy taking 300 damage this early in the game. He's got another scout spotted over there. Oh, I'm spotted. Excellent. They've got a whole scout platoon of 12T, an ELC, and a Leopard. And they're all sitting right there. Let's just take a random shot. <laughs> I did not expect that to hit, but whatever. That's it, 28 Proto just knocked out one of them. I think Mio and the Chiri was trying to knock out another one. Okay, we've got a medium tank at the very middle. The two, two of these scouts right in front of me. Should be able to peek over the hill and spot anything else that's coming up on their side of this ridge. There's a medium tank. Centurion 1. Perfect. Oh my goodness. This leopard is kind of yellowing here. Jackson could have done some damage, but he, he only tracked me. I got lucky there. Alright, let's try and position and get a shot on this leopard. I need to get rid of him. Leopards are annoying sometimes. And right here. Oh my gosh! Okay. I just bounced side on to a leopard with the 105mm gun in the 229. After this game, I'm going to promptly uninstall and quit World of Tanks forever. <laughs> no 
shot on the Centurion. There's a T-69. Perfect. Let's get a shot on him. Nope, he backed up too quickly. I don't need a 10 second aim time while I'm closing in on these guys here. Neo got taken out, unfortunately. And the T-32. I've got three T-8s in front of me. Perfect. I'm going to use this corner to side scrape off of. Get shots on this T T69. There's one, 339. Not bad. Bit of a higher roll on that on that tier eight medium tank. Not bad at all. Now the T32 came out to play, and he just tracked me. Nice job. <laughs> I have been having a lot of success side scraping the T29. It's just not even funny. This thing's wide tracks eat up so many shots. Should be able to peek out and get a shot on this Centurion and take him out for good. There we go, perfect. 298 and a dead tier 8. That'll be some decent bonus XP for me there in the post game. I'm going to fight it out with this T32. Let's just back up. He's pretty much broadside. No, he's pulling out right in front of me. Let's just get a shot in his hull. Perfect. 275, not bad. So I've got three pen shots for about 900 damage on tier 8 so far. Let's get one more. For Jayaka, get out of the way, and he's gone. 290. Should be about a thousand damage dealt, and two tier 8 tanks destroyed. This is going to be a pretty decent XP haul, win or lose now. Alright, looks like Artie just fired a shot at G. Got a T29 right in front of us. There's a scout on the other side of this ridge right below me. Let's see if I can go and take him out. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, there we go. And he's gone. Perfect. 281. Let's just dip down here. I don't need shots from that T29. Just gonna back up until I'm unspotted for a second here. Artillery was looking that way, so I'm just trying to be a little bit cautious. See if I can pull forward here, protect myself from the middle, and take out. Oh, there's Artie right there. Somebody needs to take him out. M4043, that's real dangerous. Hopefully, somebody has a shot on him. I lost the target. That was another T29 over there. Oh, I spotted. Is spotting me. Oh, that would be the Jackson. Let's turn and take, take a shot at him. That one completely missed. I guess I hit something. Just gonna turn my front to him so that he's not got easy shots on my butt. Oh yeah, he's pretty hauled down there. There you go. 321. Now you're half dead. I'm sure that felt good. I'm gonna close in here. I think I'm just gonna pull up into the middle area there. Slug it out with the tanks that are hanging out there. It looks like a T-23, a Jackson, and a Centurion 1. Oh, there's the other T-29. There's the Jackson. I got an easy shot, and I think I bounced him. I don't know. Or I missed. One or the other. Ah, he got a good side shot on me. Joe was able to knock him out from the E-25. Alright, I'll have to deal with this T-29, otherwise he'll have side and ass shots on me while I deal with his mediums. Let's hit him in the front drive wheel. Well, I was hoping to do some damage, but he's tracked. I'm still spotted. I don't know how or why artillery is not shooting me right now. Let's just reposition here. Let's see if I can get some shots on this guy. I don't know. Should be able to cross the water right here. I'm just going to say screw it. That T29 backed off. He's not going to be able to shoot me. And we're going to cap out in 10 seconds, so I'm just going to drive forward, get another damaging shot in on a tier 8 tank. I want to get some more damage. Put one on the T-23. Damage the turret. Perfect. Oh, somebody somebody got out of the cap the last second. Then somebody got reset. So I got a bit more time. That shot missed, unfortunately. And while I got this 10 second reload, I can get torn up by these two very fast firing medium tanks. T-23 and Centurion 1. Got 10 seconds. Ammo rack the Centurion. Just need more damage. I don't really care if I die at this point. I can just use some more damage. Knock up the Centurion. Get some decent XP for three tier eight kills. See if I can do some more against the T23. I'm just gonna ram him. No, time ran out of the last second. Kind of a pointless cap there. We had a T23 that was half dead. That uh, was face hugging and artillery with a T29. But still, 2,454 XP, 67,705 silver. Not bad at all. 2,409 damage with four tanks knocked out, and three of those four tanks were Tier 8 tanks with a good 1,500 plus damage dealt to Tier 8 vehicles. Not a bad game at all. Great XP haul. So let's just jump back to the next game.
Alright, we're back in the garage. I'm a little over halfway to the T32. It's 100,000 XP for the T32 and I have 63,000. So we're just going to jump into the random battle queue for matchmaking here. Got another full platoon of five. Ready to rock. Well, this is taking a while longer than I expected. There we go. Another Erlenberg Assault game. Nice! <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a little cramped up. I had to stretch some there. Okay, so... Irregardless of which side I spawn on, now that I know that both spawns are on the east side of the river, pretty much, I'm going to go fight it out in the D9 sector, where I did last time. Uh, I've done it a couple times, gotten this map quite a few times, uh, not so much Assault, but uh, I'm usually playing the hills, you know, C2, D9, those areas there, and they've been working pretty well for me. I can get nice and hauled down, protect my HP with my really strong turret. Looks like we're on defense, so... I think I'm going to go to the right this side this time. I'm going to head down to the castle here this time around. So I've got Aguda, Casino, Fiddler's Green, and Asmodeus. Sounds like Guda's going to follow me down to Gandorf's castle there. I'll try and stop them from getting a strong position early on. Yes, defend the base, that's kind of the idea. So there's a couple tier 9s this game, not too many. We're, we're bottom tier, but you know, not a, not a heck of a lot. They only have two tier 9s, while we just have the one, so it's still quite a few tier 8s. Yeah. Invite player to the party here, seeing as how he just sent me a party invite. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me, that was gross. Party invite, perfect. Alright. <clears throat> On south there. Well, nobody's really gone to the other side to defend there, which is vaguely unsurprising. Now, I'm qu quite glad that I changed the toolbox to a vertical stabilizer because the the aim time uh, the aim time on this gun is just really, really bad, basically. So I want to be able to try and tighten that dispersion spread as much as possible, both while I'm moving, or especially while rotating the turret but uh, also just to reduce the aim time a significant amount. You can see it's that circle's really big, even with the vertical stabilizers. So, I need to try and reduce that as much as possible. Just going to roll up behind here. Pretty much the entire rest of my platoon is set up here. Gouda and Casino, both in Comets. Modius and Berkley Avenger taking up forward positions. Comets are getting some nice spots in. Asmodeus is starting to lay down some shells. Oh, he just hit that 843 pretty hard. Alright, just gonna keep rolling forward here. Let's see if we can get a shot at this 843 and knock him out of the game. <laughs> Four damage, yes! Nice! Four damage, so nice! <laughs> Broadside Black Prince, he's just gonna hate life in a second here. Get some shots on him, and or you know, just bounce him. That's cool too. I guess the shot went high and hit him somewhere in the turret. That's fine. Just gonna try and line up for another shot here. Let's see what's going on on our left. Gouda's pretty unhurt, but Casino got taken out. I'm not even sure what killed him. There's, there's another Black Prince. Is it the same one? No, no. There's two of them. Okay. Let's see if I can hurt this guy. Oh, he turned. He turned just before I fired. That did not work out well for me. Now he's on fire. I'll just put one shot into his side if I can. Well, now he's behind. Now he's in that little dip just to the to the south of me there, so I don't want to have a good shot. Change my focus onto this other black prince here. He's getting too close. He's nice and tracked, though, so I'll just put one into his side. There we go. 350. Finally got some damage in this game. Go me. Be able to finish him off here. Nope, Gouda gets him with the comet. That's fine. Not a problem. 
Okay, so I mean, I've got another Black Prince just south of us here. They've, it looks like they got a pretty decent push coming from the north end, though. There's the Black Prince. He's not coming over. I don't think I have to worry about him. Get shots into this VK-45 Alpha. Nope, I don't have shots on him either. Something's spotting me, though. T-25-2 coming over. That was a... <laughs> I'm surprised I hit him. <laughs> Bit of a Hail Mary shot there, but uh, that's okay. Aim in. Stop moving. Stop moving. Here we go. Turret side. And I missed. Naturally. That's okay. Now, I'm a little curious. Haven't really seen their tier 9s. Let's have Gouda pull back there. He's pretty hurt. I'm going to pull forward and start tanking some shots for him. Let's try side scraping off of here and get a side shot right through your side turret. There we go. So these funny little bumps are kind of screwing up my side scraping, so I should be able to use them. Nice bounce. Excellent. Got an AT7 coming in on my right. I might have to deal with him. Yeah, I'm going to have to take him out before he goes and gets Asmo. Get a side shot on him. There he's out of no health. He's shooting so fast. You know what? I'm just going to get you out of the game. Bonk! <laughs> Four damage! Nice! <laughs> Rabbit kill. Asmo's down to no HP, though. And looks like the North Push succeeded. They are currently capping. I kind of want to knock out this VK-45 before I turn around. I guess, their, I guess their STI is what pushed in the North there, and that's why we had so much trouble there. That kind of explains why I haven't seen them. Fit just got taken out by it. Alright, side shot. There we go. BK-45 dealt with. Now, I don't think I should stick around and deal with this T-29. Yeah, we're kind of in trouble. I need to hustle back. We've got one person defending the base right now. Would help? Oh, Asmo just got knocked out by their skill cannon. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hustle back. We've got two people on the flag right now. Nobody's really got shots on them. I don't know what the J88's doing, but he's, he doesn't have shots on them. Artillery just splashed one of them to reset the cap there. Good shot on their part. They've got four people on the flag right now. They're just going for the cap win. <laughs> Even though they are up eight to five, nine to five, sorry. I'm not going to get a shot off. Nobody's going to reset. Oh boy. Oh well, can't win them all. That's okay. I just wish I got some more damage in before the game ended. Still got 729 XP. That's not terrible. Only 1062 damage dealt, but I only received 45, so... Pretty, uh, pretty positive on the damage ratio there. Oh well, can't win them all, so uh, just gotta head back to the garage with my platoon and uh, play the next game. Keep on grinding. Okay, back in the garage. I am so close to the T-32. I'm less than 2,000 XP here. And I've got Aguda in the T-29 and Gixer Khan in the T-23. They're willing to play some Tier 7 with me. And I'm just so ready to go on to the T-32. It hasn't, it hasn't exactly been terrible grinding this T-29. It's just, it's just slow for my taste, and it's such an arty magnet. We got another game on Abbey here. This one's an encounter. So, uh, if I remember right, the new Abbey encounter, which was just recently introduced, the teams spawn basically in B2 and J2 on the west side of the map, and the flag is somewhere, I think it's right in the Abbey in the middle, in like E5 or E6, somewhere in that area. I think. I, I don't I don't really remember. I'm having trouble recalling properly right now. But whatever. I'll find out once I get in the game here. Maybe we'll get maybe I'll get lucky and get a tier eight game, do some damage to higher tier enemies, get a really good XP haul, and be able to move on to the T thirty two once and for all. Well, looks like I'm not gonna get my wish. We are top tier. They've got a Black Prince, a Tiger, a KB thirteen, a J Panther, and a couple other sevens there. 
Pat de Souffle. I've got a Nashorn somewhere as well, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for artillery, naturally, because I am not sick of getting shot at by artillery in this tank yet. So it looks like I was correct. The flag is in E7, F7, that area there. Um, just on the east side of the Abbey and the little valley between the lake road and the Abbey itself. So me and Gouda, we're going to stick together and use our combined T-29 scariness to just intimidate the enemies that we come across into complete submission. <laughs> Hopefully somebody knocks out that scout tank quickly before he starts spotting people over here. Oh, there's a second one pulling up too. They have three scout tanks this game. There's nothing I could do, so I'm just going to ignore that and keep on moving. Gixercon is hauling butt down the water line. So me and Gouda need to kick it into high gear. Catch up to him. Give him some backup. Just give him some armor and HP for backup. As well as some big alpha guns. We've also got a Panzer IV with us. Looks like Gix is duking it out with uh, KV-13. And he is eating him up. Considering he fires about three shots to the KV-13 one, I don't think I don't Let's think he will uh, be destroyed this battle. Let's get a shot on this Nashorn. There we go. Nice, 372. Not bad. Gix was able to finish off that KV-13. We've got a one-shot Nashorn there. we also got a VK-36. I'm going to shoot the VK. Gixxon Khan took up the Nashorn. VK just did 309 to him. He's backing off now. Not sure what hit him. I can't believe I'm unspotted. <laughs> kind of helps that uh, Gixxon Khan is up front there spotting. I'm going to just head over there and back him up. I'm not going to hang. I'm not going to hang out way back here anymore. got two people on the flag right now, and I'm spotted. Uh, what is spotting me? Must be something right over in the abbey there. Well, I'm just going to drive up top over here, peek over, get a shot into whatever. Oh, never mind. They're both dead. <laughs> My mistake. Well, I'm going to stay on this path. I'll be able to meet up with Gixercon and Gouda once they bypass the lake road there. Got a J-Panther in the back, sitting on the base. Let's put a shot at him. There we go. Nice! 339. And he's gone. Nice! <laughs> Alright, let's... There's only five of them left now, so we're just gonna close in for the kills. I'm I'm pretty sure that we're gonna win this. Black Prince. Let's get a shot at him. In his pseudo lower plate. Nice! 311. I'm kinda surprised that hit. So I'll just uh, close in on this guy. He's hiding behind the rock there. I've got three damaging shots. I'd like some more. <laughs> Come on, Black Prince. There we go. Coming around behind him on the rock. Get some broadside shots. Into him. Nice! 318. That's just random. I need some damage. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna catch up with that scout tank. <laughs> and uh, Bert just rammed the Black Prince. <laughs> oh, that was excellent. Oh, sorry, buddy trying to turn and I'm blocking him. I think this scout is back towards our back towards our spawn there, so I'm gonna head back that way. See if we can cut him off or something. Just a little ELC left, and there's eleven of us. Including uh including a Chiri and a Leopard Scout. I th I'm pretty sure we've got this in the bag, so just closing in here. I don't really, I don't think I'll uh, have enough XP to get the T32 off this game. I didn't really do a heck of a lot of damage. Maybe the Ops will help me out. We'll see. That Leopard bounced a lot of shots on that ELC just now. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, let's see if I can get a shot on him. Oh, I just missed. I went just high. Eight points of damage. Nice! <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, that was a pretty, uh, pretty painless win. Kind of steamrolled them. Nice! Sorry, nice! 2,339 XP 
Maybe I did more damage than I thought. 1655? Yeah, definitely more than I thought. I thought I only did 1,000. Perfect. So that's that's my last game in the T29. I'm ready to go back to the garage and research the T32. Not a bad game to finish this tank off with. Not a wonderful game, but, you know, not a bad one either. So I'm going to pop back to the garage now and research the T32. All right, back in the garage. As you can see, with that last game on Abby there, I now have enough XP to research the Tier 8 T32. So, my verdict, my verdict here on the T29, uh, it's a really good tank. There's a reason it's the second most popular tank. It was very easy to uh, do good amounts of damage, so long as I didn't get YOLO'd in like, a ridiculous amount by, you know, even tier mediums or especially higher tier mediums and all that jazz. I could just go hold down and dump a decent amount of damage and get a good XP haul and that's why this tank is so popular. It's really really protective on the front with the turret there. That's a really strong turret to help protect you but I personally just didn't like it. It's a little too slow for my for my tastes and it's such an artillery magnet. There was a few games there, well more than a few, a lot of games where I just got blasted by artillery the whole game and uh, I didn't really, rec I didn't record any of them. I didn't have the capture card going at the time, but there, it was a lot more than I would have liked. And there was games where I did next to zero damage because of it. Very disappointing, but still a very strong tank, a pretty easy grind. You'll probably want to use some free XP to uh, get the upgraded turret with the 90 mil instead of having to play this thing stock. And definitely don't use those 75, 76 millimeter guns. So going into the package tree here, just gonna pop over, use my, the tank XP to research the T32, research this tank, yes, 100,000 XP, so elite status on the T29. Well, fellow tankers, that's it for episode 3 of Heavy Duty. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it. This is a pretty strong tank to have in your garage. Uh, I do recommend you keep it if you enjoy it, if not, what have you. So I hope to see you for episode 4 of Heavy Duty with the American Tier 8 T32 Heavy Tank. We'll see you next time, Mobius-wise, signing off.